Nigeria is arguably a country under distress. The country's woes are most evident in the torrential space of armed violence and criminality in various parts of the country. Nothing explains this horrid situation better than the apocalyptically volatile security ambience in the wider northern Nigeria. The northeastern Nigeria is still patently under the Boko Haram scourge amidst the precarious counterinsurgency endeavors of the government. The north central area has been afflicted by Hertzberg militancy, which has plunged the region into dire humanitarian crisis. The northwestern region has recently been emerged in the rapid upsurge of rural banditry along its international frontiers as well as the forested interior. Banditry has become alarming in Nigeria's Fourth Republic to the extent that it poses a serious security threat not only to the Northwest region but to Nigeria at large. Banditry in the Northwest has led to a spree of kidnapping, maiming of people, loss of lives, population displacement, loss of cattle, disruption of socio-economic activities in general, and equally brought about an atmosphere of uncertainty, a situation that has become worrisome to the government and the citizenry. A new wave of crisis is emerging in Nigeria's northwest with the ongoing activities of armed groups referred to locally as bandits in six states, namely Zamfara, Katsina, Sokoto, Kaduna, Niger, and Kebi. Attacks have included shooting and killing, cattle rustling, kidnapping, rape, torching of entire villages, and looting of valuables, and the numbers of fatalities and displaced people have continued to increase. While more than 1,100 people were killed in 2018 in the six states, over 2,200 were killed in 2019, and more than 1,600 fatalities were recorded between January and June 2020. Council on Foreign Relations 2020. By September 2019, such attacks had internally displaced over 160,000 people and produced more than 41,000 refugees. World Food Programme 2019. United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees 2019. Displacement numbers now stand at over 247,000 IDPs and some 60,000 refugees in 2020. The situation has changed dramatically over the past week. The terrorists who had been attacking numerous targets, including military establishment, led an assault on the Kaduna airport and stopped flights. Then they attacked the Abuja Kaduna train, derailed it and broke into the first class wagons occupied by members of the governing class and their families, killing some and kidnapping others. Meanwhile, these outlaws have had ownership of the Abuja Kaduna road for years and they attack, kill and kidnap victims at will. In other words, after years of killing and maiming ordinary Nigerians, especially in rural Nigeria, without much notice by those in charge of the state, they are now making a direct beeline for members of the governing class and their families. However, several factors have been adduced as the driving forces of banditry in Nigeria, and most especially in the Northwest. Drivers of banditry in Nigeria's Northwest consist in some social existential conditions that characterize the interior as well as the frontiers of the region. Prominent among these conditions are the scarcely governed spaces, the hinterlands, forest lands, and borderlines of the region. The Northwestern hinterlands are marked by extremely dispersed rural settlements separated by ridge lands and farm lands that are susceptible to violent contestations. They are also interspersed by diverse forested landscapes, some of which are dotted by wetlands, rocks and caves. Apart from being separated from each other, they are equally far separated from the centers of governance at the local and state levels. The forest lands of the region are vast, rugged and hazardous. Most importantly, they are grossly under police to the point that makes them conducive for all forms of jungle criminality. In view of this, violent crimes such as banditry 
have festered and thrived in such forested areas. Most attacks occur in remote villages close to forested regions in the northwest where there is little security presence. In likewise manner, banditry occurs in large swaths of forest reserves that are generally out of the reach of the Nigerian security operatives. Most of the bandits' activities take place in state-owned reserves such as the Kamuku, Kiambana, and Fagori Forest in northern Nigeria.